I joined this team just to kill maggots like you! Hello, everyone. It is your Lion Sin and Pride, Devin Lionheart. So, what's been going on? I have been busy, believe it or not, dealing with personal situations. Now, today I wanted to do something a little different because I am a Transformers fan, believe it or not. Y'all probably saying, that is stupid. That's ignorant. That's blasphemy. I tell you, just shut up and watch the video. <laughs> because I am a Transformers fan. I grew up watching Transformers. Believe it or not, Generation 1 Transformers I grew up watching. Now, this is Optimus Prime Answers Your Questions by Johnny Flash. Please support Johnny Flash. He does great work. And before you do all that, please subscribe to me. Give this video a like. And put a comment if you feel like it. Let's get started nonetheless. All right. I'm going to turn it to full screen mode. And three, two, one, start. Optimus Prime reacts to YouTube comments. Holy shit. That's a lot of questions. <laughs> oh, Hello, yeah. Oh, yeah. My name is Optimus Prime. Today, I'm going to be answering all your questions. Because you have no life. So let's get Basically. right into it, shall we? Why the fuck do you keep dying? Jeez, okay. You have the strength of 40 Yonatons, a force to kill Unicron. But you have more death counts than Cliff Jumper. Why do I keep dying? Because I can come back, that's why. What happens when you die? Okay, the reason he keeps dying, because uh, they keep running into, how can I say, uh, plot problems with Transformers. It's like every series, Optimus Prime at least dies once, and they have to bring him back because of plot. And because of G1. And if any of y'all say it's because of Rodimus Prime, or Rodimus, get out of here. It wasn't Rodimus' fault. He was trying to protect Prime and G1. Megatron took advantage of the moment and got the killing hit. Let alone, in a way, Megatron died as well, but he was terraformed into uh, Galvatron. Spoilers if y'all haven't seen the Gene 1 episodes or the G1 movie. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So, continuing on. Nothing. Nothing at all. What does an Autobot have to do to get his own damn movie? That's what I'd like to know. Definitely. <laughs> Hasbro, Paramount, whoever the hell I have to talk to. Hasbro. Oh, Bumblebee get a movie before me. Can My thoughts exactly. Robot? Well, yes, yes I can. Much like a human would ride a giant fire-breathing puppy. <laughs> planet, right? I would show you a clip from the movie, but well, copyright YouTube sucks. Copyright, copyright system. Do you really have the touch? Ask your girlfriend. She'll tell you I've got the touch and the power. Oh! Transformers use restrooms. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have one. Pervert, are you? Yes. Moving on. How do you feel about really? Bumblebee becoming a prime? Okay. Here's the thing with Beanie. He's a great guy. Been through hell and back with him. But he's okay. no prime. No, he's, he's been not. Off being one of those support characters, you know? Uh, Give the spotlight somewhat. to someone else for once. Like me. Also, how is he going to do those epic speeches I do? It just won't be the same without them. Okay, so the epic speech thing, Optimus Prime got that down to a T. Literally in Transformers. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, nobody's going to replace his epic speeches. Moving on. In the end, nobody can replace me. Not even me. I'm here. Also true. Hey, Optimus Prime, can I have a... That's me. Can I have a photo with you? I'm a fictional product birthed from a corporation that sells toys. 
I'm not even real. Okay, so if you go to one of the uh, amusement parks that have a fully animatronic Optimus Prime, yes, you can get a picture with Optimus Prime. I think it's Universal Studios uh, Florida where you can get a picture with him. So, <laughs> yeah, you go there, you can get a picture with Optimus Prime. So, no. Why do you have an obsession with ripping off people's faces? What? No, I don't rip off people's faces. That's, that's disgusting. I would never. That's not mine. Okay, I, okay, so I had to cut out a ad there because obviously YouTube's got to make them murder bucks. Press reactors. Or Mary Wheeljack. Oh, this is like that Earth game. I've heard of this. At least you didn't ask me to boink one. Ooh. Oh, dang. I guess, uh... I would have to choose kill Bumblebee. I would not want to marry a robot. No way. Kill Bumblebee? <laughs> Good but choice. Honestly, both sound pretty good. <laughs> good choice. <laughs> Shut up, don't judge me. Did you ever <laughs> laugh after becoming a prime? <laughs> No. Okay. Need to get more serious. One here, which I wasn't going to do until I thought of it. But how the fuck do Transformers reproduce? An another pervert. We got another. Pervert. Seriously, what is yes, wrong with you people? Bathroom, yes, this we... secret will Wait. never be revealed. How do we reproduce? Come to think of it, I don't even know my own parents. Do I even have parents? Someone explain to me in the comments. How... Okay, so here's the real truth about this and the g1 cannon all autobots parts are born from the planet of cybertron's core and then they are given physical metal bodies from the planet's own materials that's it that's all you need to know don't ask this question no more how this spiel works. This is really upsetting. I miss my mom. How nice are your lips under that mouth plate? Oh boy. What's with all the kissing emojis? Getting a little creeped out here. Nothing but perverts in this comment section. But to answer your question, they are very nice. Okay, so you seen the Transformer Bay films? His mouth, I'm just gonna say his mouth, does have a certain oh how can i say to about this um um i'll just screw it i'm gonna say it. it's got a certain charm to the face but it's not canon to the actual transformers uh cannibality so when you have any real pressing questions about Earth, do you use Google, or perhaps Bing, or one of the irrelevant search engines? Ask y'all. Okay, yeah, um, I bet he's gonna go with Teletram 1. Or 2, either one will do. Etc. Or does the Matrix of Leadership give you all the answers you seek? Okay, bit of uh, lore behind the Matrix of Leadership, it carries all the sparks of the past Primes in the Matrix of the Leadership, meaning Prime can access any of the past wielders of the Matrix of Leadership, seriously giving him infinite wisdom when he basically, I don't know, meditates or consoles with the Primes of the past when it comes to the Matrix of Leadership. You can learn that from one of the Transformer cartoons. You Earthlings and your primitive technology. Us Cybertronians use something called Teletran 1. It's Okay, you use Teletran 1, all right. It wasn't two. Good, I like Teletran 1 better, even though it got destroyed, I think in the first season. Or was it the second? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen the cartoon. Very useful, with the best search optimization in the universe. Teletran 1, 
How may I be of service, Optimus Prime? What's the latest news on the Prime movie? Let's see. Denmark's new Prime Minister vows to tackle climate change. Oh, god darn it. Ah, oh, monkey fudge bars. Okay, moving on. God damn it, Teletran. I'm My sorry. thoughts exactly. I'm done, I'm done. Please don't put me offline again. Why don't you just kill Megatron? Is it because that you're a pussy? Okay, if he you're killed more Megatron, there would be no question. more series. Well, let me ask you this. How many movies do you want? Because if I'd killed Megatron back in the first movie, it would have been one and done. But we're going on like seven now, so sh Okay, so technically in the first movie, Megatron did die in the Michael Bay films. And in a way, also in the animated. But... <laughs> he keeps being brought back as much as Optimus Prime, either as Galvatron or Megatron, either way. Or the Megatron with the uh, dinosaur form. Either way, he comes back as much as Optimus Prime here. Shut your mouth. You should be thanking me for letting Hasbro milk this franchise like a succulent grapefruit. Thank if you. If you directed the Transformers live-action movies, what would you change about them and why? Less Bumblebee, more Prime. Actually, My thoughts exactly. Get rid of the humans too. No! All Prime. <laughs> no, the humans are key to the plot, you moron. And are you even going to plan to have a wife and children? Look, I'm not that old. I'm a very spry nine million years. What the There's fuck? time for me to settle down, find a wife, <gasps> and some sparklings. Once I find out where sparklings come from, of course. Okay, so I had to remove another ad. YouTube, I swear you and your commercials. How does it feel when you transform? It's like floating on a cloud and being lifted into the heavens. Uh -huh. Before suddenly dropped on a bed of nails and broken glass. Ow! It's very painful. Oh! Also, we did not need to know that. Well, it's simple, really. You just clench those butt cheeks and wish for it really hard. Try to imagine squeezing yourself. In other words, it's just magic. <laughs> into a tube of toothpaste. And bam, you're in vehicle mode. And if that doesn't work, just look it up on YouTube or something. Do you secretly love Megatron? Spooter Danker? I love your name. Spooter Danker. <laughs> Why do you like introducing yourself? Well, because he's the freaking leader of the Autobots. And it's part of his personality, I guess. Moving on. With a name as badass as Optimus Prime. You announce that shit. <laughs> My name is Optimus Prime. <laughs> All right, last question. Are you an Alita still a thing? Or did you, you know, break up? Oh... Dank Blitzwing, you ended this whole man's career with that question. Why would you even bring that up? That is cold heart. Not even Megatron would do that stuff. I went through some troubled times. I got busy being the big boss of the good old Autobots. And she wanted to pursue her career in acting. Yeah. It just didn't work out. And so, we both decided to go our separate ways. Life goes on, but I would be lying if I said I didn't miss her. I feel you there, man. As a single man, it's never actually had a real girlfriend in his life. I feel you. Being single sucks. But at the same time, it's both a curse and a blessing. Not a day goes by where I don't think about what could have been. I feel you on that. I hate this comment. It, it makes my optics leak. <laughs> oh man, that guy made I Optimus cry. Alive. You Earthlings are brutal. No Perverse. jokes. But, but not all guy. of us. And so does Johnny Flash. 
I mean, look at all these hearts. <laughs> you trying to say something there, Johnny? I mean, <laughs> I think he has a crush on someone. Maybe a lot of someone's. Whoa, turn it into a real auto thought, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share the bell, comment, show it to your mom, pin it on the refrigerator, and all that other YouTube shit. Auto thoughts, ho out. <laughs> good oh that was good all right um i would continue on with another video of doing a double video of you know johnny flash uh q a questions but i think i'm gonna have to end this video here just to remind y'all please like subscribe and comment down below especially leave behind leave a comment down below which one of the autobots or decepticons is your absolute favorite character just do that stuff if you remember anything about the show g1 or even any of the series just put down your favorite character it doesn't even matter if it's beast wars or not just put that in the comments also Please go to Johnny Flash's channel, watch the video over there, and give him a like and a comment, and subscribe to him as well. Okay. <sighs> that was fun. That was fun. Okay, I'm out of here. See you around. I'm outie.